in the end, I mean, the Viari will still be as good because you still get to check for. Welcome back to the European Championships 2017. We are now into the top eight. Um, we've uh, spent a long time getting here. I think we're going to have a quick look at our stats tool and just see exactly how we got from day one to here. So this is the top 64. Uh, so you can see a lot of Zodiac. Yeah, a load of Zodiac. If you're expecting this to be different, guys, I'd advise you to look away from your screen right now. Yeah, so uh, here's the top eight. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise, it's eight Zodiac. Yeah. Just eight pure Zodiac. I really thought the True King Zodiac deck would be the deck to win this weekend, but uh, apparently, no, it didn't even get past the top 16. We are down to just eight pure Zodiac decks. We've, we've never had anything below a top two that was the same deck. We, we, we've never had that. Really? Yeah. No. Not even in, in Necros format, we had that. You had the Shadows that year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it was three and one in the top four, but yeah. So wow. there you so, go. Um, and on our country breakdown, let's have a quick look as well, if we could. Yeah. So the top 64. Yeah, just there wait for it to come back up. Top 64, as we saw, huge showing for Italy, Germany, and France. UK, UK just trailing back there. And then the top eight. Wow. So our, our Italian showing is four. And then we've got Denmark, France, Greece, and the United Kingdom. And yeah. we are showing our UK player again uh, this round, which will be Tom Payne piloting his Zodiac deck. Bet you didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, versus um, Alessandro. Alessandro Longo, an Italian player. Wait, without looking, what do you think he's playing? At Zoo, because you're covering the wrong part of the deck list regardless. And it was on the screen. But <laughs> <laughs> so here's your tournament yeah. bracket, as you can see. Um, uh, we're actually coming down to the wire here, and it's not, remember, unlike previous WCQs, this is not the heartbreaker round. That is next next round. Yeah. I love how Matt is just looking forward to seeing people's hearts. No, broken. I'm not. I'm embracing myself that we're going to need to be really empathetic and understanding. Okay, our backup match is Michael Fauna versus Frederico. Um, Mikozzi. Okay, yeah. Frederico Mikozzi, both from Italy there, and both playing Zodiac. So... Without further ado, let us get over to our table and watch the match. And there's our two players. Uh, during that interview, Tom Payne kind of just didn't seem massively confident about anything. He's just lucky to be here. That's yeah. <laughs> the way he sees it. He, he keeps saying, I'm incredibly lucky. I mean, lucky because I'm playing the same deck as everybody else and I happen to just have won. Somebody had to do it. Okay, so looking at what we've got here. Uh, Tom is starting with, it's our first hand to be put in. Uh, Tenki, Tenki, Book of Moon, Ghost Ogre and Snow Out and Pot of Desires. Oh, Alessandro has just come in. That's Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, Solm Strike, Forbidden Apocrypha, Dimensional Barrier and Zodiac Thoroughblade. And he's going first. That's a very, very strong hand for Alessandro to start with. We see the brood ball come down first, and then it's the ghost ogre. Well, the one zodiac start uh, when he doesn't have the backup barrier, uh, unfortunately, does leave you to the mercy of the ghost ogre. Yeah, or my body, no, my body either. Oh, jeez, uh, I think the uh, huh. the staff in the venue may have just uh, knocked everything there. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, moving on with the rest of that, we're going to see um, three cards going down Dimensional Barrier, uh, Forbidden Apocrypha, and Solemn Strike. So that's going to really slow Tom's turn down. Um, Bar Formation Tenki. Alessandro could use the Ash Blossom against this. I mean, if he does, then the Pot Desires has a chance of really paying off. Yeah. He might decide to just allow this because um, he's got the strike in the barrier. Yeah. And he can burn through more of Tom's resources by do, uh, responding later rather than sooner. Yeah. I mean, some pretty strong trap cards in this format. Considering how much people don't like to play trap cards. 
Uh, we've not actually seen a Forbidden Apocrypha resolve on stream yet. It looks pretty cool. Yep, it can clean up huge fields of single type extra deck monsters. Yeah, so it's not, if it's, is it three or more? It's got to be. It's two or more. Two or more. And on the field. Yeah. So it's slightly different to uh, Neil Ceiling. Top hand hand there. Still got another tanky. And a Book of Moon, Pot of Desires, and Ash Blossom. I believe you can only play one tanky a turn, if I'm correct. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Look at those Fire Fist monsters. Fire Fist Bear. Is it? No, he just, there's like no Fire bear. Fist Bear. No, I, he's saying, I remember the Fire Fist monsters. Ah, so okay, right, right, right. I was like, Fire Fist Bear's not on there. Oh, no. It's okay, uh, so uh, Rappi has turned into Hammercon. And there's strike. a strike. Oh, that's a beautiful ultimate strike. Oh, yes, it is. Good job, Alessandro. And the pot of desires is likely going to get uh, ash blossomed. Oh, which is sad. Never really want to see that happen. Yep. Oh. Oh. Well. Well, I just banished ten <laughs> cards on my deck for no and reason. Tom's resources down to just a book of moon, ash blossom, and another tanky. So he does have a follow up on his following turn, if he can. Uh, well, he already has a book of moon. Should. Uh, Alessandro start with I have a Dryden face up, but the dimensional barrier is still sitting there for Alessandro, and the forbidden Apocrypha as well. Apocrypha. Apocrypha. My yeah. apologies. Is an apocrypha a real thing? I believe it is. It's a it's a type of book, right? Yeah. There's the Book ah, of Moon. Double, double Darkle and Regeki both got banished, by the way, for Ouch. the Pot of Desires. Oh, you actually got the information this time. Uh, just limited. Limited numbers of information. but Limited numbers that. of specifically limited cards. Yeah. Oh. My body is a shield. Here's what Alessandro drew into there. Seems pretty good. Still got a rapier face down there. Pass the turn to Tom. Tom has a tanky and another tanky. He's just drawn into Max C. That's good. It means he's going to be able to start pushing out. I mean, his the dimensional barrier is going to cut his turn short again. But because of those two far formation uh, tankies, he's going to be able to attack over the right in any situation. Yep, take out your rat. And there goes the rat. Ram Ram there attacking from Raging Tempest. I like Ram Ram. The little shield. So I like, please don't hit me. Oh, he chose to put it in attack mode. Okay, there goes the Shack and I. I love how they're so skinny, but they've got huge gloves. Yeah. I feel like, surely you just buy gloves that fit you instead. I don't know if they were taught how to use them by Masterpiece. Mm. That's possible. Because the whole law at the moment is Masterpiece just turning up and doing stuff. Yeah, having that check on in attack mode is a minor liability. Fortunately, Tom has quite a few life points to play with. Uh, what's Alessandro drawn for his turn? My body is a shield. He drew uh, another one? Another one, yes. Okay, so yeah, now Tom's going to be able to carry on playing. There is still the forbidden... Apocrypha. 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 Uh, to worry about, which is the first time we're seeing it on the live stream this weekend. Uh, Tom draws into Whiptail. Yeah, that track nine on a. Well, track nine's gone now, but it was on a strong 200 attack points. Well, now there's a Broad Bull. Yeah. There's on a strong 200 attack points. Yeah. Such a big axe, you'd think he'd have some attack. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah, I wonder what, th there's got to be some kind of law behind why they don't have any attack points. No? Not sure. 
Astro. Yeah. Yeah, I should. Yep, this time the Ram Ram is going to make it down from the Chuck 9. Going in attack mode. It's got 200 attack. Guess he. Okay, Whiptail discarded. Quite drawn. Just seen uh, one of our members of staff. With wondering. A uh, very large card. What card is it? On the right, yeah, I saw Sky. Perform Pal Sky Magician. Sky Magician. Yeah, it's Perform Pal Sky Magician. That looks pretty cool, actually. Mm. I love the giant cards. Giant cards are good. Yeah. Now, quite a big field that Tom's amassing there. Yeah. 400, 1200, 1600. For those who don't know already, please go and vote on our poll to see who you think is going to win. Is it going to be... Tom Payne. Tom's playing around that forbidden Apophrica. I'm wondering if it's is. because he, well, he is, because he's made his attacks first before really committing to building any further kind of field of XC monsters. So I'm wondering if he saw Alessandro was playing this, and now he's making active decisions to avoid playing directly into it when it would cripple him the most. Uh, Alessandro does have the My Bodies as a shield, My Bodies. Um, to stop the Dryden when he tries to secure his play. However, Tom does have the Ash Blossom and the Max C and an additional Whiptail to work with. I'm just imagining uh, Alessandro just kind of stood in front of all of his monsters going, stop it. Well, he can only activate one of them. He's at uh, <laughs> uh, 2,700 life points, so he's not going to resolve both of them. But it does work as a mighty fine bluff. And no, he draws passes and... His uh, because he Tom's got a Zodiac combo, couldn't do anything. To be fair, wow. it's just one of those where Alessandro just super bricked on this. Um, even taking out 10 cards from Tom Payne's deck just wasn't enough to stop it. It was that Ghost Ogre at the very start. He yeah. had a great hand had Tom not had the Ghost Ogre. Correct. Um, and then he basically had four other cards, Zodiac Monster, in the middle of his combo, uh, in the middle of his uh, early setup. He gets nailed by that um, Ghost Ogre. And then he just wasn't able to recover from the game from there. But, you know, in any other situation, he would have been fine. Yeah. He would, the game would have gone on a much longer, much longer than it did. So looking at Alexandro's side deck, uh, he's got Twin Twisters, Cosmic Cyclones, uh, Forbidden Chalices, Mask of Restrict, and Garmin Cells. He's playing free of everything, so he's not messing about. He knew exactly what he was side decking this weekend. Mm. We are likely to see Twin Twisters coming in and Forbidden Chalices, maybe Cosmic Cyclones. I don't know about the Garma Cells going first. It is always a possibility since it answers Dryden pretty pretty well. Um, what about, and we've already taken a look at Tom Payne's stuff, but we'll let yeah, Luke so refresh your memory. He's, he's also playing Forbidden Apocrypha. So that's that may, got ver may get very interesting <laughs> when both of them are playing that. Um, he's also got a Solemn Warning that may end up going in in game three. Uh, Imperial Order as well. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Drawn Lotbird and Cosmic Cyclone. He's playing basically three of all those things and then one Imperial Order, one Abyss Dweller, one Soul Morning. I'm pretty sure that we're still in game one of our other feature match. Yeah. Uh, which is Frederico McCosey and Michael Fauna. Uh, both playing very kind of standard ish versions of the pure Zodiac deck. Trying to see if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me and he doesn't like that there is. Just going to no. get an update on that it's secondary feature match. Standard. Uh, there's a lot more hand traps being played by Michael Fauna in the main deck than Frederico. Frederico just opting the three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, whereas Michael has got his uh, Ghost Ash, uh, Ghost Reaper, Ghost Ogre, and Max C. Yeah, Frederico's actually playing the exact same build as Marcello Barberi. Ah, that would explain it. Yeah. Uh, flying C in both side decks, we should expect. Although, towards the start of the day, we didn't actually see a lot of Flying Seas in the side decks. And now yeah. that we're getting up to the top, it's obvious that it's kind of a requirement yeah. to be able to win out here. Mm. My Bodies of Shield are also extremely huge on the top end of this tournament as well. Um, Which is nice to see. Uh, Tom's coming in first here. So we've got Zodiac Barrage, Cosmic Cyclone, two of them, and a, ma a Maxi and a Dimensional Barrier. So that would be an excellent hand for going first there. 
Uh, the Max C is going to make sure that he gets uh, he's going to get some Something, mileage from yeah. this. And the Cosmic Cyclones means he can take out a few cards of when he wants to revolve his barrage. Alessandro with a Dimensional Barrier, Twin Twisters, Barrage, Whiptail, and Zodiac combo is also quite prepared for the first turn. Both of these players kind of seem to have stuff, even though that Max C is there. That Max C is critical for Tom right now. He's going to be able to, because of Barrage and a Zodiac Normal Summon. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Will he activate it now? Not yet, that's Barrage no, Ball. He's going to wait till uh, Alessandro commits to a point where he stopping is going to cause him to lose a bunch of cards just by Tom playing, just naturally playing his turn out. So yeah, he's going to do it as soon as he detaches the wrap here from the Barrage Ball. That's uh, not a wrap here, that's a whiptail. Is it? Oh, but okay. he is searching with Bulk Ball. He, hasn't, he has used his normal summon this turn, so he's not going to be searching for wrap here. That's, yeah, he's gonna bat. Sorry, he's gonna bar out the wrap here and not. Yeah. No, he does search. He does end up searching for it. Unless he just decides that barrier is enough for him to not yeah, have to do anything. The wrap here. Also has the twin twisters. Yeah, there is cosmic cyclone. Get rid of that. Let's have a look at our poll. How many people have voted? So here we go. Remember to do vote just so we can have a look and see who think you think is going to win. Tom and Payne. the vote is 61% towards Tom Payne and 39% towards Alessandro currently. There's a Maxi on the check and nine. Yeah, that's a good time. Yeah, there's going to be at least one more special summon, and the barrage is unlikely now. Yeah, highly unlikely. Why, why would, yeah, <laughs> giving your opponent more stuff is never a good idea. Especially on the first turn where you absolutely cannot close out the game uh, or set up an invincible board by any stretch of the imagination. I'm loving Tom Payne's extra deck sleeves. Can you uh, remember which product they're from, Matt? Oh, um, was that the uh, Dimensional Box released in Japan? Yes, it was. I loved that with the deck box and the sleeves. And the four different dimensional dragons from the yeah. Arc 5 anime. Yeah, it's awesome. My favorite sleeves um, are actually the see-through sleeves that came with the deluxe editions. Oh, really? Yeah, I really like those sleeves. They're fantastic for extra deck. Hmm. Quite pretty. Protect your cards in binders very, very well as well, whilst also giving you something to look at. Ah, Tom does decide to go with the double cyclone. Remember the card Double Cyclone? Ah, okay. He no, may not. He might decide not to commit his other Cosmic Cyclone when Dimensional Barrier is going to freeze out his turn. Nope. No, he does. He decides uh, to take out. He's going to take out the Twin Twisters. That's huge when you consider he's got Dimensional Barrier, barrier Dimensional Barrier, Torrental Tribute. Tri wow. And a Barrage. Would you even bother playing Barrage here? Uh. He doesn't really want to. He doesn't really want to sit with nothing, but he he could maybe consider getting away with it by setting the Trental Tribute. It's uh, with the Dimensional Barrier and the Trental Tribute. He's not going to. Yeah, he's not going to lose. Oh, we're going to see that change to discard the combo. Um, oh wait, Tom actually. Oh, that's Tom's graveyard. Maxi. Cosmic Cyclone. Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah, the Twin Twisters should be banished. Yeah, he's asking, if it was activated, do I need to still banish it? Yes, yes you do. Oh, cheers, man. Not that it's terribly relevant in this yeah. game. Uh, but now that he has given up both of those uh, Cosmic Cyclones, the Zodiac Barrage is going to be looking pretty safe from Alessandro. Yeah. We do know there is a dimensional barrier to follow up on that, but... The, also the a Torrential Tribute. Yeah, the Torrential Tribute is pretty massive. Yeah, I think a big TT here would be... Super good. He drew a free blade. I wonder if Alessandro decides to give Tom a taste of his own medicine with the normal summon direct attacks. Hmm. Dim barrier here? Yeah. yeah, dimensional barrier, no searching for you. And if he does summon the free blade, this torrental tribute is probably going to follow up. Yeah, I don't think he would summon the free blade at the moment. You can just get him for 1200.
It looks like he's thinking of cracking the barrage. Yep. Yep. Yep, barrage destroying my brood ball. Yep, that's no problem. Alright, we still know there's no Exi Summons, but he could go for Ram Ram as an insurance policy. And he gets to keep the barrage as well. Yeah, I think that would be the best line of play, is just to give him some kind of, you know, if redemption factor. Yeah. That Ram Ram gets destroyed. Any, if he gets anything else, a Torrential Tribute is definitely a very strong possibility from Tom. Uh, but a Ram Ram would uh, make Tom hesitate in order to play that Torrential Tribute. Yeah. There we go, Ram Ram. Yeah, definitely the best move there, I think. Yeah, there's another dimensional barrier to play through, and Tom has his own barrage and no Dryden to face down. So Tom's up for a good turn. Uh, Alessandro, he... There, we might... Uh, well, the turn to tribute yeah. problem there is he thought about it, but then the Ram Ram could just um, revive the free blade, and then the free blade still gets in, and Tom doesn't end up in really any benefit of the situation. Alessandro did draw my body as a shield. That's going to cancel the... Uh, torrential tribute again. Yeah, wait, that didn't happen last game. Last game, Alessandro, all he drew was my body as a shield. <laughs> he drew a bunch of them. Oh, he turns the check and to defense mode, not willing to be caught. Well, his effects is negated, so it's not like he's getting any damage in. And he says my yeah. body is a shield. That implies that I think Alessandro would have been a disadvantage there if he'd have been torrential. Is that a second? Oh, no, 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 he's got. Uh, oh, Tom has his own my body as a shield as well. But his life points are starting to run pretty low. He's almost hitting the halfway point, and it's not very hard for no. Zodiacs to chip you away for way higher than that. Yeah. There's a Rat Pierre. And we go see the hammer call. Oh, he's, he's just going to be able to play unimpeded here. Yeah, he's going to be able to do his full chain and s build more card economy. Yeah, which he certainly needs right now because he's relying, he's basically living on those two trap cards that he's got. Yeah, he's going to get another, he could potentially get another turn, but his life is so low and the through blade is very, very relevant, the damage coming in from that. And there's a whip tail. So we're getting pretty late here in uh, Vitoresh. Half past six. Tornado Dragon, he decides to... Uh, no, cut his, cut his combo make a shot. Yep, he wants to make sure he doesn't run into uh, any trap that's going to storm him down. And he gets rid of the My Body's a Shield, and that is quite telling of the situation that he believes Alessandro is in. Alessandro has no cards in hand, and now has nothing but perfect information face up on the field for Tom to consider. He's going to have one unknown card at the end of this, uh, the end of this turn. He can use... Uh Use that to get rid of the Ram Ram. Yeah, you can run into the Ram Ram, banish it. Uh, the Tornado Dragon can take out the track. Uh, throw Blade. Yeah, it can take out the Throw Blade. He doesn't really want to get, get, on, get in with the Track and Nine. And then upgrade to Dryden and then use the Dryden to take away the Track and Nine. Yeah. And then Tornado yeah. Dragon during the standby phase, taking away the Barrage, leaving Alessandro with just one card to make any kind of play with yeah. through a dimensional and barrier. barrier. <laughs> yeah. I think we may see Tom winning this game here. Yeah, it's looking incredibly favorable at this point. I mean, there's yeah. one card, and he's got to play through Tom's My Body is a Shield and... Dimensional Barrier. Dimensional Barrier. And Torrential Tribute. The Torrential yeah. Tribute he's not even going to need, but I think at yeah. this point this is just where he... He's doing exactly what he just said. ...completely takes control of the game. Um, yeah. And with one unknown card from Alessandro, it's just it's not going to be enough. Absolutely. Oop. Take out the track and iron and then pass, and then it's just a matter of waiting to see if that. Well, Alessandro gets could draw Soul Charge. Yeah. That is true. I don't think there's any other draw in his deck that's going to make a difference. He's got the combo in the graveyard as well. He does. So he 
Does he have enough there, unique names? I believe he does, from uh, what I can see there. So Barely. He, so he could have two, two unique cards to play with. Yep, there's the Banish. And there's the Ball Bow. And there's uh, Broad Broad Ball. Ball. Ball and Bro Ball Bow and Broad Ball have got very similar names. There's five. Yeah, barely. He's so got two cards. He's got two cards to play with here. Two cards, because we know the Tornado Dragon has to take out the Barrage. And then yeah, the Dryden, Dryden will take out a normal summon. And a Dimensional Barrier will be if any other shenanigans happen. But it's, well, And the Soul Charge is way less live now because he's just shuffled them all back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he Soul Charge is live for him at the moment. Wow, Tom Payne really just showing his master of this Zodiac deck. <laughs> oh, it's the, again having the Max C on turn one. Ram Ram and Twin Twisters. Yeah, that's. Well, Ram Ram is probably possibly the best Zodiac that he could have drawn. He's going to Dryden it or a Tornado? Yeah, he's going to Tornado. Tornado makes sense. It's more specific. Yeah. You always use your more specific quote negations before you use your less specific ones. Yeah. So Dryden is just face up. Uh, yeah, he has a Tony Twister, but that's Ooh. just going to leave him wide open. Yeah. Uh, Tom Payne gone through both his brood, uh, broad bow, uh, broad bow bubbles, bubbles, right? I'm he's not just sure. Going back. Oh, Tom, yeah. sorry. Tom, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he's already gone through one. He only plays one, likely. Yeah, just one. Yeah, just the one. He's going to let him put some resources into this, and then he's going to hit him with the Dimensional Barrier. Yeah. Or he could just uh, use his, depending, yeah, he could just go to Dryden, and then if he tries to use that Dryden, he's going to get caught by my body as a shield. Yeah, that's true. Now, this game is getting on. Let's uh, just check and see where we're going with our second feature match. Hmm. There we go. Tom's got my body as a shield. Oh, he's going to go Dimensional Barrier instead. Okay. Interesting. Okay, he holds uh, back the in my body and just uses a dimensional barrier. Yeah, he, he went. Uh, so chain link one was uh, Alessandro's. Um, yeah, he somehow performed a chain in such a way where they both got destroyed. That was odd. No, he shouldn't be destroyed. Uh, yeah, it, it's. Dim yeah, he goes. I use my Dryden. Yeah, barrier. Barrier. Then I chain my Dryden. My Dryden destroys yours. Oh, then yours is no longer on the field, right? So yeah. It's not yeah. Does it say the effects of all XE monsters on the field are negated? I Currently on the field, I believe it does. Uh, let me read. No, I thought it was all. I can soon tell you. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. That's a misplay. It seems like uh, Tom may have misunderstood that interaction because he could have just used my body as a shield and kept his Dryden with the material and kept his dimensional barrier. All monsters of that type while they're on the field. Right. While they're on the field. Well, the effect is activated on the field. Okay, so it looks like the rolling's been issued and I think Tom may have killed that. Yeah, we'll uh, see how that gets how that gets resolved. But even if, uh, regardless of how the situation comes out, he does still have the Tornado Dragon uh, to attack with, and he has the My Body's a Shield. And his last card was his last face turn card is Torrental Tribute as well. Yeah, I I, I agree with this ruling that it w its effect is only negated while it's on the field, and because it was destroyed, it is allowed to resolve. Yeah. But it was uh, wasn't on the field when dimensional barrier resolved anyway. Was it? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, oh, pot desires. Yeah. I didn't even see that he had the pot of desires. He's he just, just ri ripped it. Mm. Oh, his opponent sets the card and then he goes pot desires. It's the twin twisters. Yeah. So completely yeah. tanky. He's not got any cards in hand, so he can't activate it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of whether Tom Payne can inflict seven thousand five hundred damage here. It's possible he could. 
Depends how many Zodiac he still has left. There's one Dryden't. He's got a combo in Grove, doesn't he? Yes, I think he put that down on turn one and hasn't used in it, a while. so he's going to be fine. Yeah, I think we may be seeing our first top four competitor here in Tom Pin. And then there's one game to go to see who's taking those world seats. Yeah, I don't think the we should record. count Alessandro out at this point. No. We, he still has to get the amount to be able to do it. He drew into an Ash Blossom and Joy Spring as well. Yep, that's a very fair point. I think the combo's in the graveyard for Tom. I'm trying to remember if that was this game. He hasn't used it yet, so. Yeah, we'd have to check. Still, I, check think, nine. I think Tom's got so much stuff here. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to go be able to go for game here. Yeah, he's got the possibility with the uh, whiptail chains. He has used his normal sum this turn. Yeah, he's on the ram ram. Yeah, I think he may just be shot. He has got that tornado dragon that's big. You put a material back under the tornado dragon. And then uh, take out the twin twister. Yeah, I think he's playing safe at here. He's going to potentially, well, he's either going to put the wrap here. Yeah, okay, whip tail. No, he decides to go for a whip tail. Yeah, he's going to go for damage. Yeah. 400, 1200, 2000. Yeah, so 100. 3700 damage. That's going to bring his opponents right down in line with Tom Payne's life points. So he's coming right, right down. Let's try it. I mean, go ahead. Draw. It all comes onto that draw. Draw your last card. Playing for the Dryden. He's got the Twin yeah, Twisters. If he goes for the Twin Twisters, he has. Yeah, he's going to have no cards at that point. Live in Graveyard. It was Soul Charge. Was it? Yeah. It was Soul Charge. Wow. wow. He okay. doesn't okay. have a massive a lot he could do with it because he does only have those 3,600 points left. He could. Um, he's got another Dim Barrier, though, right? Tom Payne's got another Dim Barrier. Does he? Is it Dim Barrier? No, he's got Torrential Tribute. And TT, sorry, yeah. TT. He's got uh, the... With the Ash Blossom in hand as well, and a Whiptail. So, yeah, he could technically uh, just go for a, t a TT at this point, surely. Yeah, and uh, Ram Ram is if it's destroyed by your own card effects as well. So he can then just... The Soul Charge goes off, puts Monsters on the field, Torrential Tribute, Ram Ram gets destroyed, Ram Ram puts... Uh, Dryden back on the field, Whiptail under the Dryden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is he going for a ram ram himself? Oh, his yeah, opponent's yeah, also going, going for a ram, ram ram. Right. Would he not be able to ash force it? Um, I think we yeah. have chain link one, pop the ram ram. No. And yeah. Oh, actually, he's just popping the ram ram. Yeah, so uh, ram ram the goes off. on the summon. Yeah, yeah, he can TT now. Yeah, it brings that back. No need to tributes. Yep. And that's it. There's uh, uh, really not my body done at all. He's yeah, only got yeah twin twister. So everything's going to go there. Uh, it's going to pass over through two. Tom's turn. Tom's going to draw. So uh, he could get anything blade. else, but he has yeah. that Dryden. whip tail in hand. Yeah, Dryden, and then just equip the whip tail. I'm surprised he didn't just go... Many attacks per game. Yeah. I mean, if it was... And a drop. Yep. Yeah, and there, there is the is. handshake. Again, Tom Payne bringing the pain and moving in at two, uh, well, our top four slots. Yeah. Very, very cool. Let's go to our post-match discussion, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Hello, everybody, and yeah, that 